All right, welcome back. We're going to do a little another save edit. This is kind of a fun one. Um, you can do this on your trailers or you can do this on your truck if you don't have the World of Truck account. Um, so let's go ahead and do our save. Like we do. Boom. To do that, go ahead and go to our shortcut we created. Let's go to our decryptor. That's done. Let's get it. Notepad plus plus. All right, so let's go control F. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. Let's go. Nope. My underscore truck. There we go. There's our trailers. Sign trailers. This is my truck. There's a placement of the truck. There's our nameless for our truck right there. Copy that. Put it in here. And let's find it. My notepad plus plus has been acting weird lately. Apparently hit a key that I don't know and I'm screwing it all up. Okay, now we're back at our truck. So if we scroll down and we want to look for the license plate. Let's keep going. Right here. There we go. Okay, so you have, if you do like the New Mexico plate, you have to have this space in there. So what I like to do is I like to do the Arizona plate because uh, you don't have to have the space. So in caps, let's type McFly. If I can find all my keys. Then we're going to take this out. We're going to put Arizona there. Because like I said, I like Arizona just a little bit better. You don't have to put the, uh, oh, which one did I put it on? In my other one. Right there. Uh, and cap, always do caps, by the way. So in there, just copy that, control V. And then we're going to save it. Like I said, this is something kind of dumb. And you can do this on your trailers too. Uh, your personal trailers, if you go in and you have a personal trailer and you want it to have your name <coughs> on it. Um, I've done this so many times and it is literally just, again, dumb personal preference. Something you may want to do, may not want to do. So, let's close that out. We already saved it, so we can close this stuff out. Close all this out. We don't need that open. Let's go back to our game. I'll show you the plate before, because the plate before is New Mexico, and the New Mexico plate, oh, I forgot we were on a load, ha, that's funny, so, okay, so see, on the Mexico plate, you have to have the space in there, I don't know why it makes you do that, but you have to, so let's go ahead and load our game. And you could do like a space one or a, if you want to do, you know, you can you can split it up in that space if you like the, the New Mexico one. And this is taking a little bit longer to load. I don't know why. Let's see. Oh, see, it didn't take. Damn it. Why didn't it take? Drop a Did it take on the back one? It did not. Okay, so let's go in and find out what happened here. Let's go back to our file. And since it's already decrypted, we don't have to decrypt it again. I'm wondering if maybe I just did the wrong truck. It could be possible. Ah, underscore. Let's see. You see, it keeps bouncing me all the way down to the bottom here. And I don't know why it's doing that all of a sudden. Backward detection. Okay, we're back at the top now. 
know why it's doing that. I think this is, this should be our truck right there. But it didn't save. Let's see. I did something wrong. Let's find out what it is. There's one, two. Let's see. That is not our plate number. I don't know. Was that our plate number? C. I thought it was B something. Let's go. Let's go look. Oh, there it is. C two twenty. So see, yeah, I changed the wrong. I changed the wrong freaking plate. I changed the plate on something else. So let's go ahead and let's go back to here. Nope, I need the other one. Copy this. Paste that. Get rid of this. We don't need none of that. And fly. So I changed it. I I changed another truck. I guess I I don't know. <laughs> Not the first time I've done that. It's not a perfect science. Okay, so let's load this back up again. I've done this so many times and I still screw it up. And like I said, you can do the same thing with your plate and everything else uh, on your trailer. Um, it's pretty much done the same exact way. Just my trailer, scroll down. Uh, find to where you see the license plate and then once you see the license plate then it's done and there you go and now it says McFly on there the uh, rear plate will say the same thing it's kind of dark out but you can see it right there it says McFly trailer you can do the same thing so when you do the trailer you got to do all three of them so on the trailer because the each dolly piece has um, a license plate as a license plate the low boy turn that off the low boy has one um, so you you can seriously do it to the same exact way on all of them so let's go out here. Let's go back into here. Ah, no pad plus plus. Do that every time. So let's go ahead and go back to the top and then control F. Let's go my underscore trailer. Find next. Let's find our assigned trailer, which is right there. Do our usual steps, copy paste it. My next. My next. Let's see. Okay. Is this it? Why is my deal acting so nuts lately? Let's go back to the top. Okay, so let's go trailer. There's our assigned trailer. Let's go once, twice. Okay, here's our trailer. Because here's, remember we, previous video, we zeroed out our cargo mass. So, oh, that's what we changed earlier was our, uh, our trailer. We didn't change our truck. We changed our trailer. So let's go ahead and copy this because we're going to want this a couple more times. So now let's go down to our dolly right there. See how it's in Mexico again. We're going to take this, paste that there. There's, let's get to our other dolly. Paste that there. And that should be it. Let's save it. Let's go load it up. And that's all you have to do. Now, if you only have one trailer, you, of course, you only have to do it one time. But we have the low boy nine axles. So we've got the dollies and everything to go with it. So we literally have to 
do all three of them. It's kind of like the same as when you're zeroing out your load. You have to zero out all three. And now our trailer says McFly on it. It's hard to see because it's dark out, but now all three say McFly. I can't seem to zoom in on that one, but as you can see, the rear one says it. It's right there. It's hard to see. Um, actually, let's go into dev mode. I slow that down a little bit okay so I forgot I put dev mode on here so there's one dolly let's go up here let's go to the other dolly oh I just passed it the other dolly says McFly that's our trailer then our other dolly where is it at I know it's here right there you can see it in there barely and that one says McFly now all our stuff on here says McFly. Everything on this trailer says McFly. We go down the road, everybody sees our name. There's our front license plate for our truck. We got it on our rear of our truck. We got it on our dollies. We have it on everything. So now your name is now on all your license plates. Like I said, I like to use the Arizona because you don't have to put the space in there. It's much easier. Um, other states, I don't know. I know New Mexico and California. You have to have that space in there, so you'd have to put, like, McFly uh, or your name in space. I don't know how many letters you can do. I have never really tried it, or you can abbreviate it however you want. Um, I know... I think California is the same way as Arizona. I'm not sure, but you can run whatever plate you want. Again, some of them require a space, some of them don't. That's why I like Arizona. And that's pretty much it for this episode. Y'all have a good one, and we'll see you on the next one.